Brilliant, bloody brilliant. Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? Leave it <laughs> out, Jez, you remember. Lovefest. Don't be Did playing you? them games with me, Jesus. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English. Good See, one America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old hands, totally your father. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fest, yeah, nice you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, can? Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You could do boys. that for the boys, right? You know you want it. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, dog. All the bunnies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a condo. I have a hot tub. I vacation in Aruba. Vacation is not a verb, moron. Yes, it is, because I'm a VIP. I'm very important. And I'm a teacher, a wise man, not an opinionated adult, a naysayer sitting on the side of life criticizing others while all he can do is get a crappy gig down at a moron station. Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. From helping people. Do you know how good it feels to be me? Do you have any idea, any idea at all, how great it feels to wake up and realize you're a rich and talented, important person and in a waterbed with mirrors on the ceiling and more girls than you can imagine? And every time I step outside the door, I can choose which car to drive. If I choose to drive, I have five chauffeurs. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Leave it under the carpet. That's my. Mate, the guys could do with some company, if you know what I, I mean. I know just the girl. I can save lives. I'm a savior, my friend. I have a gift of communication, and this is how I get treated. I get insulted, I get paired with a pair of retards, a guy who's afraid of the sun, and a girl dosed up to the eyeballs on antidepressants. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very strong today. Maybe I took too much accidentally. Oh, well. <laughs> this chick is out of her mind. I thought I was going to get to help people on the radio, to demonstrate my program, to help you, Chavez. Those people on the phone said you were a desperate, lonely man on the edge. Leave. Leave right now. Get out of my studio. Go get your own radio show. Go save some other people. Hey, I'm not leaving till I have the opportunity to save people and sell some tapes. You can call right now and send in the money order. Soon you can have a luxury condo and a waterbed and a suit made in Singapore based on the hey, latest Italian no, style. Enough! Enough now! Shut up! Hey, vampire boy, I'll give you 20 bucks if you can put a hex on Chavez. Dark forces, I summon you to me. Banish these weaklings and mental inferior ones from my presence. Shut up! No, you little snotty nose prick. Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. Stop fighting, please! I hate it when we fight! Can't we have a group hug? Hit me, man. I like it. Oh, my damn no. Oh, stop crying, baby boy. Who are you gonna tell, huh? Where's your three-step program now? You think I'm a little wimp now? You wanna be rude about pressing issues now, eh? You think you're a tough guy from the gutter now, eh, my friend? You think you can screw with me, with Maurice Chavez? What you thinking, asshole? Uh, I'm sorry. Please don't hit me again. I, I love your show. Yeah. Well, I think I understand this positive thinking. And that was pressing issues. I think we covered a lot of ground. We learned all about how to press the issue. And remember, if at first you don't get hurt, hit the guy very hard in the face with a paperweight. It just worked for me. And I feel like a million dollars. Let's tell you a little bit more about exactly how public radio is financing quality programs like Pressing Issues come on the air. Don't go away. That was Pressing Issues, and this is Vice City Public Radio. We hope you're enjoying the show as much as you're about to enjoy listening to me and Jonathan Freeloader. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Heartbroken, Michelle. Why, Jonathan? Why? Well, because it seems people just don't care anymore. I mean, where are people's priorities? We have campaigned tirelessly for public radio for literally months now, and the station is still in trouble. But a man with a hygiene problem put 
friends on a pop concert, and suddenly everyone has money to hand over to starving kids they've never even met. I think it's a disgrace. Yes, people are very shallow. Like you? Exactly. I'll see you later, big boy. Much more important than food. I have a good mind not to let them go back into pressing issues this time. You have to give us some money. It is a 